the gold pass giveaway from my previous video is still active and you can enter using this video as well you just have to stay subscribed to the channel leave a comment down below and leave a like on this video and yeah that's about it so just do enjoy the rest of the video guys i've got a throwback to an army that i used a lot at town hall 15 and if you go back into my channel history i'm sure you can find it it's one of my earliest videos but this is pretty much the exact same army composition i used at town hall 15 for super bowlers all down to my pets uh, with just some modifications um <laughs> because now we've got more powerful pets but yeah the generic idea is the same for most of your heroes on smash style attacks and i just wanted to show you guys that this attack is really really strong so i went perfect on this account on this day and we almost went perfect on this account it was just this one mistake but in any case i have to admit that honestly after trying out super bowlers they might be a bit stronger than throwers don't really toss me under the bus or something i will show you guys proof like my my <laughs> performance on today's legend league should be good enough proof but here we have the equipment on each of my heroes i'll just go through them one at a time you can pause the video just to just like have a look at it and here's the interesting thing for the royal champion on this account i'm using the rocket spear with the seeking shield and on my other account i'm using the hog and haste so honestly it doesn't matter which equipment you want to use the combinations just work really really well and in that sense you don't really need too many epic equipments you can honestly use the invisible instead of the magic mirror if you don't have it leveled up and you can feel free to use whichever of the epics you have leveled up with the earthquake boots just make sure to use the earthquake boots to open up some walls for your bullets that's about it let me just take you guys through some examples of how to make this particular attack work Alright, here's the first base and it's kind of this boxy base. You'll usually find these modified versions of Town Hall 16 bases and it's not bad at all. Like for the first attempt, really good. You've even got the sweepers pointing towards the Town Hall itself. So if they, if you try to have a smash entry coming from the Town Hall, it could be a bit of a, uh, like a bit of a trouble. So one thing I really enjoy about Super Bowlers and the reason I'm doing this in replay format instead of live format so i can take some liberties to explain some aspects of this particular attack you try to have your flame finger attack if if you can get a flame finger somewhere on the base try to do it such that you're not going to be attacking the area next to the flame finger for a long time and what what i mean by that is like suppose you're going to be walking into the area where your flame finger is going anyway you're going to lose the value of the flame finger so you're just losing out on the siege machine value and on this one for instance i can see that i just need to set a funnel right over here and you can smash through the town hall no problem it is not like any other previous town hall it is so much simpler to do it and you can see what i mean like, about the flame finger thing i was talking about i'm gonna get these two merge defenses out of the way and that's not gonna be a problem for me so it's actually perfect because my smash only will have to worry about reaching up until this monolith and not have to worry about anything more from there so I'm just kind of setting this basic funnel with my warden and I'm just gonna take that as my funnel point to start working my way to the town hall. Just an early skeleton spell because there's an enemy hero farm right here and we can get going. I'll be using my queen to counter funnel for most of the attacks, yeti to kind of be like a heavy tank in front of her if I don't use it for a flame flinger and witch with those skeletons to just kind of like ensure it's like light tanking and hopefully they usually tag team but on this one i got a little unfortunate the witch just kind of <laughs> couldn't keep up with the queen so she dies i think she dies out early not sure but either way here we go with a smash you can see you get to delay your warden ability for so long there's no poison ability there's no poison on the town hall anymore it's just the explosion from the giga bomb if it's located on this one it was what you can see like you can just keep your troops so safe for so long it's like it's just a complete joke at this point and I pop my king ability to, it, to instantly just take care of what's even left in the core and I don't even need to say anything more. The flame finger took out the entire top half, the smash through the town hall got exactly what we wanted. Queen and royal champion are easily, easily just wiping out those flanks. We only needed two rages for our super bowler smash because the rage gem is honestly so good at just providing that passive um, increase in DPS that you don't really need too many rages for the smash itself unlike what you would have with a life gem back at like town hall 15 before equipments became a thing but there we have it the smash was so fast our flame finger hasn't even popped yet so it goes really really quick and one issue that i've had with throwers honestly is just the 
टाइम फेल दो आई आई डोंट आई डोंट नो दोज गाइज दे आर वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग इट्स वेरी इजी टू कीप दम हील अप बट आई फील लाइक दे मूव टू स्लोली and they don't have the same destructive powers that bowlers or like even like ajax do these guys just chew through the base like nothing and that's that's a border like you can just easily brute force your way through the base just like this all you need is a basic funnel point and a counter funnel usually using your queen and the witch and you're all good to go so now let's move on to my other account i'll just alternate between the two so you can see some examples of using the hog and his trial as well All right, we've got a double rage base, and this actually looks like a base that's ready for Town Hall 17. Look at how well the defense was spread. We've even got this very dangerous area on the bottom, just so far away from what I would consider to be like huge threats for a smash star attack. Very, very well spread. So I'll give him credit for that. But here is just another way in which you can set up funnels. It's kind of. It's, I just feel like I'm back at Town Hall 15 with these tips. So. Usually the fire spitters you can try to avoid them. Like these sweepers are not too much of a problem. I guess they're meant to stop more like Hydra than um, smash style attacks because honestly they're too far in to be able to do anything. We'll especially with super bowlers. Maybe for throwers it could be a problem, but especially for super bowlers you're already through most of the damage before the sweepers can really stop stop you. So now we we can carry three yetis in our clan castle. So. Just look at the capabilities of what a yeti plume can even do for you. Just gonna drop it right there. We're gonna get the CC pull. We're gonna set a funnel point, and like the queen also just like completes that funnel point that's being set by a yeti. So what more could you want, right? It's that's usually all you need for a yeti plume. Just look for the three things, and usually you pair it up with a queen charge. On this one, because the queen started facing the some resistance, perfect time to start start joining in with the warden as well. It's a bit of a complex trick. But it's totally worth it. You just have to wait for your teeth to start dying out, and might as well join with your warden anyway for the extra DPS to quickly, quickly get that funnel out. And of course, that poison lizard will help your queen deal with whatever is left that cannot be picked up by a poison spell. And there we go. Just look at how quick that funnel was set for the super bowlers, and look at it's just so clean. Like this entry, there's nothing for the super bowlers to do except to walk right in here. So what more are you waiting for at that point, right? Just go ahead, push them all through that channel, and watch how quickly the score gets destroyed. Rage tower number one, rage tower number two, doesn't matter. Perfectly timed warden ability. Keep chaining those rages. Like notice how I place them as well. This is something that not a lot of people talk about. Not a lot of people talk about because I guess not many people use this. But we have four rages in this army composition, so you can afford to be very greedy. Like look at how my healers and bowlers are more or less always being raged up together. and that way we can just quickly chew through the base that is probably the most important aspect of making super bowlers work and as i said like literally probably 10 seconds we went through both of the rage towers with the help of the bowlers and then if you combine with the, the king's equipment as well now there is no way that these bases can defend and four rages is so much like it's like you feel like you've already played so many if you're used to like a fireball attack You already feel like you've placed so many, and you just have like one or two more still left in your <laughs> spell bar. So it's just completely ridiculous. So you can keep supporting your like royal champion, like over here, like one rage, one freeze, pop her ability. Oh man, she took out two enemy heroes, two multi archer towers, multi inferno, and the monolith all by herself. That's just so much value, honestly. So <laughs> what more could you want at that point? Very, very, very versatile attack. I can't. Believe how this has not been picked up just yet because the only thing that stopped super bowlers was how that poison kind of defined meta on a lot of bases and it became very very difficult to move through it. But there's no resistance anymore. I'm expecting these kind of anti to uh, maybe rage style bases to become very very meta at Town Hall 17. But let's see if it shifts because super bowlers might become more popular in throwers in the long run. That's my prediction. Let's just wait and find out. Next up, we've got another boxy and more importantly anti fireball base. Another base that has been modified from Town Hall 16 to fit for Town Hall 17, and I think you might have already guessed it. We're going to go right through the Town Hall. What better way to do it? Because just try to map things out, right? If I just wall break over here and place a jump on these builder huts, All three of these single infernos will be accessible to my super bowlers once they enter this compartment with the monolith and clan castle. So 
why not try to do that all i have to do to set the funnel over here is get a warden walk going there's already a mistake i made over here i should have used my smaller troops i have three barbarians and three archers they can be used to test for traps they can be used to uh, kind of tank for mortars if they're very isolated for a flame flinger they're very useful it's very versatile uh, just trying to use them and if you've been watching me since town hall 15 i'm sure you've heard this from me many times but for those of you who are new, new over here definitely a new tip and yeah just small guy like these small one troop things just help you so much they're so versatile skeleton traps gone easily tanking a mortar no problem you can use your yeti as well it's, it's a lot more comfortable but at town hall 15 where things were tough we had to use barbarians and archers to tank mortars so yeah we have a lot more i guess leeway to just easily get this going and you can see i'm just trying to rage up so that i can get the expo off of my warden and the only reason you need to get your uh, i'll just pause this replay and talk about this so one important part about warden walking to set a funnel for any smash style attack try to ensure that whatever damage is on your warden is no longer on him that way he gets up to full health very quickly and once he's at full health and he's not taking damage anymore he can transfer the healers over to anybody so now you can see over here he's still taking damage but like it's not as much because this town hall is so underwhelming and you can see the beams will slowly transfer on to the super bowlers and there we have it the healers just transfer over to them because they're the ones who are actively taking damage now and they will stay locked onto them as usual queen and witch on the outside to create that funnel for these guys and the jump spell that i was talking about i guess unfortunately i didn't catch my king in my warden ability you can see i popped my <laughs> warden ability just a bit after my king got popped i would have loved to use him down over here on the bottom of the base but i guess we can't get everything we want nonetheless you can see these bowlers are all set to work on the single infernos flame flinger beautiful flame flinger can't have done much better than that and there we have it like these guys will be able to easily lock down both those single infernos as if they never even existed queen pops her ability this late and we're back on our rocket spear account and i i don't think it would have mattered i'm sure you guys can see it wouldn't have really have mattered which version of the uh equipment i would have run under royal champion now hog and haze would have done equi equally well no issues at, at all she would have easily just melted through these enemy heroes especially with the help of the poison and another attack that is so fast that the flame finger doesn't even pop by the time we get to the end but still i'm I, I, you still have to give credit to the flame finger i mean it took out this entire left flank one scatter shot and one single inferno both of them relatively isolated but there you have it if you find these boxy bases with the town hall relatively easy to access on one end just consider smashing through it like you shouldn't even think about anything else now there's no poison left in the town hall anymore it's really not worth considering any other options so <laughs> yeah one way or the other we can make that work and usually smashing from the town hall end is your go-to option on most bases if it's an anti-2 try to make sure that you're trying to avoid the fire spitters and you're pretty much good to go let's just cover one more attack with our hog and haste and yeah let's just call this one a wrap after that last base we're going to take a modified version of ghost's base where he's switched to double poison for some reason but it's more or less the same base you can see it and i think this was definitely popular for the last season of town hall 16 uh, yeah some sort of anti-fireball base right <laughs> either way so for this one again it's the same principle like whenever you see the town hall near the edge on these boxy style bases consider some approach where you can get an up get going through the town hall itself and you can see over here i'm once again doing the similar setup where i'm trying to tank the mortar and the expo with the warden walk and i'm ensuring to also cut out these buildings so my warden will stay on to the top side of this base rather than thinking of walking towards the single inferno and that's all that's really important for us so you can see more or less this is this funnel is being set i spare the freeze for this mortar because there are teslas over here i cannot <laughs> really tank it using barbarians and archers but uh, it's all good like at least i managed to pull them out for my flame finger to get the maximum value it possibly can we're gonna wait for this air defense to fall and uh, air defense and enemy warden like he is just an en hero that will follow you now if you try to pull him out so yeah we're just gonna do this you can already see the yeti up top the queen to also complete the funnel 
and that's it there's our funnel all set um, one mistake one one more mistake I just want to talk about is I'm letting this expo latch onto my warden so you'll actually learn from this you'll probably see it takes a while for my healers to transfer onto my bolus just because of how actively my warden was taking damage so it took a bit of a beating it took another freeze uh, for my healers to transfer because my king is at critically low health now and so finally my healer decided to transfer over but it took that long it took my my king going all the way down to almost zero health for the healers to transfer so you wouldn't want that on your bowlers like those guys are especially even more delicate your king can probably take a beating but not those bowlers so just be careful about that we've popped our queen ability and <laughs> i thought this was my rocket spear account and look at what i end up doing over here <laughs> i just immediately pop her ability for whatever reason but you can already see the base has just crumbled apart like these guys can easily crush at least two thirds of the entry from the jump spell and if you manage to catch a king before he pops his ability within your warden ability he can just easily demolish whatever is left this last one third and your royal champion and queen are honestly left to just to clean up what more do i say guys like these attacks were super fast my flame finger broke also like maybe five seconds or five seconds ago because of these teslas that popped up very late on them but that's about it like the, the important part is there's no poison anymore on the town hall and you can take the blast you can take the giga bomb if it's there in this area but just the fact that there's no poison i don't know it just makes this particular attack very very strong and let me let me know like I, I i would recommend that you guys try it out i'll have the army link in the description um there are two variants of it there's one where i replace these three wizards with a witch you can do that if you find it better for yourself but i would i would still say it, it's just too, too easy now like uh, <laughs> i don't i don't know i'll keep using this for the next few days in legends this is just a throwback moment for me like i miss town hall 15 so much so i thought i'll, I'll go back to this and maybe i'll upload some live legend videos uh, uh using this attack because i'm doing it on both of my accounts and yeah we've shifted away from fireball guys so yeah let's just <laughs> keep that in mind and uh, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one yeah peace